Whether you go to jail and how much time you spend there depends both on which crime you commit and your criminal history. This grid is the starting point for judges. The y-axis, it's the crime that was committed. The x-axis is the criminal history. Where the two meet, that's where the presumptive sentence is. That criminal history score is based on the number of prior offenses and custody status. You get a half point added to your score if you're on bail or probation when you commit the crime. It's one of those policies that does increase the racial disparities of who's going to prison. The Minnesota Sentencing Guidelines Commission is debating whether to drop the custody status half point, which has sparked a sharp reaction from Republican lawmakers. This is all done with a backdrop of a time when we have record-setting violent crime in the metropolitan area. We are tired of a culture that seems to tell the rest of us law-abiding citizens that we just have to accept the crime. The Sentencing Commission voted to delay a final decision on custody status, but some members, including Corrections Commissioner Paul Schnell, said lawmakers have created the false impression that removing that half point will somehow aggravate the crime wave. The notion that maintaining the custody status is the difference between public safety or the lack thereof is absurd. Supporters of dropping the custody status rule say that there are other ways already in the point system to go after people as repeat offenders. But you can expect the public safety uproar to continue here at the Capitol. John Croman, CARE 11 News.